Sky. Let's talk about uh, IP camera quality. The main element of the quality will be your resolution. And we already discussed it a few times at different occasions. So these are IP camera resolutions typically which you can which you can buy from uh, 1 megapixel to 8 megapixel. And as you remember from the shopping picture, shopping center picture, uh, you will see how much you can gain by using higher resolutions. The next part of the uh, IP camera uh, quality is compression. So the higher the resolution, the, the more data is required the, to be sent over the cable. So the higher the compression you need uh, to fit it on the DVR on some smaller hard drive. If you would use the H.264 compression and a 8 megapixel camera, I, I didn't count, but you will require huge hard drives. I mean huge. But uh, if you go to from 264 to 265, you will get much better compression and then if you go even higher to 65 plus uh, you will get huge uh, savings on the hard drives so to uh, h264 it's called advanced video coding and it's the most commonly used format in cctv also uh, being used by youtube and vimeo H.265 is called high efficiency and can save up to 30%. Then if you would use H.265 with the smart and AVBR technologies, you can save up to 50% in compar comparison with the H.265. Um, if you for instance using if you are using H uh, sorry M8 megapixel cameras uh, I'm sure you, you would have to use H265 plus then obviously as I mentioned before in a couple of occasions when you picking that current type of cameras you have to make sure that your um, NVR can handle that unless you want to kind of downgrade inside the camera so in the settings of the camera change to, to a smaller resolution Another part of the <coughs> quality are frames per second. So if you would use 30 frames per second, it's a movie quality, completely fluent. Like if, you, if you're watching TV, movies, 25, 30, it's a quality, uh, it's a movie quality. So uh, if you use any of those, it's, it's, it's perfect. But for CCTV, it's enough that you use somewhere around 15 to, to 7. And still pretty fluent uh, and the difference between 15 and 7 is difficult to, to notice but if you go below 7 frames per second it's a low quality it shouldn't be really used <coughs> bitrate 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 uh, it's a it's a measure of the amount of data that is moved from one point to another uh, and uh, bandwidth required for the security camera is around with a H uh, compression H.264 it's for 1 megapixel is 2 megabits per second uh, for 2 megapixel is 4 megabits per second and uh, for 4 megapixel camera is 8 megabits per second as you can see all those values here are below the lowest uh, capability of the CAT5 cable which is from 10 megabits per second to 100. So even that camera can be should be uh, cat 5 should should be should handle should be able to handle that. After that you should use cat 5e. And how you calculate? So you have an IP camera bandwidth calculation formula. You have a bandwidth with in megabits per second. So it's uh, as you remember, we uh, for both cameras we're setting. Uh, sorry, for, cam for each camera we're setting mainstream and a substream. So you take a bitrate from the mainstream. Uh, as you remember, I was uh, in those settings setting uh, I think 2,000 
around 2000, 2000 uh, I think 48 and you multiply by the number of cameras and then you add uh, the substream which was I think uh, 1024 also multiply by the number of cameras and you add them together and this will give you a required bitrate uh, bitrate thank you